The only, the only one that really means anything to me are the ones on the far end. Um, obviously, the one in the middle is a German Masters final. Anybody that's lucky enough to play one table set up in Germany, it's an amazing atmosphere. Uh, the one playing at the Masters, I think the Masters is my favourite ever comp. I was lucky enough to play at the Ali Pali before the lockdown. That was an incredible experience. And obviously, that's my best ever win. I think I just beat Mark Williams, who was defending champion at the time. And, uh, World Championships 2019 and that, that win meant a lot because I'd lost a huge final to him uh, and, and it's all anybody ever went on about, oh you lost a 9-5, oh, he's got no bottle, blah blah blah, all that malarkey, so that win meant a lot for me back then. That, that was interesting because I had assumed, I, I knew it was the crucible just by the, the, the layout and where your eyes are looking up to, yeah. but I had assumed that was you winning through to your first single table setup, so the win right. over Kyron in the quarters, I didn't realise it was the win against Willow the round before. Yeah, I'm never one for giving it large or anything like that, but, uh, you know, Mark's such a special player, being defending champion and, and, and all the stick I took for losing that final, it was, uh, it was a, nice, a nice win for me. And I know you, you mentioned the Masters, and you've been you, two, two semis at the Masters? Two semis. Yeah. yeah. It, that competition, it, it just blows me away. Because I, I, when I came into the sport in... 08, you know, on, on, a, on a regular basis. Obviously, it was all about the Crucible, but I've kind of, I've learned over the, the number of years I've covered the Masters, the, the real history and the prestige and the noise that they've started to generate at Ali Pali. Yeah. In the last two years, well, yeah, pre-COVID yeah. and then the most recent one, it's, it's mental, isn't it? It must be Incredible. an electric place to play. Yeah, obviously, I never thought I'd play a Masters, so when I finally got in one, uh... I knew, I knew I'd never been and watched or anything. Everyone said how big and all that is and the razzmatazz. Because it is like it's like a premier event, you know. I know the Crucible's the one, but the Masters, the, the hospitality and everything, they, they really do look after you. It's like an, another level, really. The world should be up, really. Um, but I remember playing, I lost to Stuart, obviously, in the semi. But I remember we went to break off after the interval and, and the crowd just didn't stop. They just kept going and going and give it one of them. Like, yeah, absolutely mental. And I really hope that... I'm lucky enough to get back to the Ali Pali and play with a crowd again because the one we played in lockdown just wasn't the same. It was. It was so bizarre. I mean, yeah. they did a great job for us at Milton yeah, Keynes, yeah, yeah. but it was so strange and yeah. such a contrast to Ali Pali. Yeah. And, and when you play in the Masters, because uh, it's obviously exciting to be there from an MC's point of view, but from a player's point of view, is it the kind of atmosphere and backdrop that makes you feel like a, sport, a proper sports star? I just think... It's all on you, isn't it? It's the way, any, any time it's at one table, you know you're involved in something, you know, and uh, like when you stand behind waiting for you guys, to, you, you like doing your bit on the mic and you could walk up the stair, right guys, it's time, you're like, you know, you can't help it, you, everything's going, you know what I mean? Everything is to jelly. You do your bit, your music hits and you know you're walking into something special, you know, if you, if you can't, uh, if you don't enjoy that, then maybe, maybe it's only because I played a couple, but they all must enjoy that, you know, no matter how many times they play it.